You ready to go because you're not TTG. I'm always TTG, my yeah, nigga. Whatever. whatever. You know what this is? Yeah, it's her news media. Damn, why you gotta say it so bland? Because though? you got me pissed off. The people don't want to hear that shit. <laughs> oh man. The people want to be lit. Who wants to be lit? The people. Yo, it's your host, Ken Dogs. We started off rough. I'm sorry. Uh, this is just how it would be. I ain't sorry. I'm sorry, because you know why I'm sorry? I'm sorry for the fans, because it's late, man. It, we, we, we're a couple of days late on this. You know what I'm saying? This is the episode that everyone's been talking about, and we're a couple of days late, bro, so... But guess what? They're going to appreciate, because we got some shit to talk about. All right, so introduce yourself, bro. I'm BX Lou. And, of course, the young lady to my right. We already know who she is. Does she need an introduction? This is a big rich town. She needs to introduce herself. It's ice, it's really good. I'm ready to stop fire out of fucking BX Lou. He keep fucking around. She ain't gonna do shit. <laughs> That's not the song you need to be playing. That is the song. This is this is this is this is the episode. This is power. We don't need to play any other intro on on this. This is power. We need to play the strap strap nigga. Oh, you talking about? Tekashi. I'm not in the gang, nigga. Oh. I don't gang bang, but you oh, fuck with hood news media and you get the bang bang. That shit, nigga. <laughs> oh my goodness. That song is absolute fire. And I, I gotta say, Fifty Cent got the best best sixteen on it. Yeah, he really does though. It's pretty good. I like it. So it bring it brings it brings a lot to what we're talking about as far as look, man. I like Takashi. Just like the next nigga, but I don't know, son. What the hell is that, B? That's the new wave. That's the new wave. Either you ride Maybe the so. wave. Like he need to, somebody need to call number one phone the and wave. take him to the fucking hospital because he's catching an epileptic attack. Or keep it moving. Ah, 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 ah. Keep, Your mother's lit. Yo, yo he's lit right now, bro. Uh, you mean? know what? A nigga lit. I got something to say. Spoiler alert. Wait a minute. Don't start with no damn spoiler. We're gonna start with spo- you know what? If we ain't gonna start with spoiler, I'm just gonna play a song for part of the episode. It's not in the episode. Hold on. Question. What? Is 50 gonna come out with a new album? So, in reference to that, I'm gonna play something off the Canaan tape. Most people don't know Canaan tape came out long, years ago. Yeah, Canaan tape. Years ago. I'm a fan. (laughs) So, I'm I'm gonna just play something for y'all. By the way, we don't have none of this shit. <laughs> <laughs> but that's just, that's just what you expect from Canaan. You expect that rough, gully talk, whatever. But anyway, let's get to power. People want to hear about power. Let's talk about power. What a fucking episode. Damn. That shit blew it's me like, away. We it, waited eight episodes for this bullshit. So that's eight just, fucking episodes. So basically, when she when I watched what Courtney says, uh, Courtney's the writer, Courtney Kemp, basically explained that that's usually the season finale because when they first started, eight episodes was always the end. And then after, I think, season two, they started ten episodes or season three. After season one, I think. They yeah, were. yeah. Can you imagine if that was the last episode? We had to wait a whole fucking year. Well, that's the first, the first oh season. That's God. what we had. Everybody was tight. Everybody was... I'm, I'm still tight. <laughs> I'm that's still a, tight. That's a problem. That's a problem for the show. If the show is going to continue with, with its longevity, Stars has to come out with a check or the owners of the show need to move on to a different channel. Well, yeah. she already said thing. there's only going to be 10 seasons. Max. Because this is ridiculous. Damn. She already put it out there. So, get ready. I'm willing to say something and go on a limb here. What season we in? Five? Ain't going to be more than seven. She, yeah, she said it's, she said it's not going to be more than ten seasons. No, it's going to finish in two, and, two more and seasons. And then she said if there is, it's not going to. She said the max, like they stretch it, is going to be fifteen. I, I think that that they 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 count any chickens before they hatch. I don't think it's going to last that long. She said, but well, she said the, the way they wrote this, they wrote the script. They wrote the script, the story. Fifty and her came together for seven seasons. 
But and they rushing it. And and she said she said they didn't even rush. She said they knew that Fifty was going to die this season. They yeah, but it, it, it's like I feel like they rushing it though. Like the storylines is just like why? Because I, I I felt like they could have kept Kanan around a little longer. Well, there's a couple of reasons why they couldn't keep him longer. Well, we all know one of the main reasons why. Yeah. So, BMF is yeah. in production. What yeah. does BMF stand for? Something big, big niche. Big, black motherfucker? No. No. Big, big black niche something. Something black mafia family. Black mafia family. There you go. So, you, know, you know the guy from Love and Hip Hop, um, Blue Da Vinci? Yes. That's his crew. Him, Big Meech, okay. and Young Jeezy and so all of them. about drug slinging? All right, I'm here for it. It's going to be... <laughs> <laughs> like, that's all she needed? That's all I this need. Drug dealer, yes. Yeah, I'm here God, for it. It's going to be the next big thing, man. I'm telling you. You, you, you have right. a fan. We will be doing some reviews on that, so you guys stay tuned for that. Yep. But back to uh, episode eight. It was mind-blowing. I can't believe it. I was very upset. Now, let me ask you something, and, and I'm jumping the gun here. How did you feel about the way he died? Amazing. <laughs> I thought it was a great idea to leave it out of to leave it out of their hands to make that decision to kill him and let him be killed by somebody else that you had no idea was going to kill his ass. Who are you talking about being killed anyway? Uh, Kanan. Kanan. All right, so I think that was a great idea. I'll tell you why I like the way he. he and it didn't, to explain it even in more detail, they shot it with him not dying, and they shot it with him dying, and they chose for him to die because they didn't want to leave it open ended. And the reason why I like it because basically they're they're growing the person that we hate the most, which is Tariq. And he like when he talks to Kanan and he tells him about his son, he's like, yo, how do you kill someone you love? He's almost asking for per- permission to do to, to kill somebody, to take himself to the next level. He tells him basically you're not a murderer. You you're not to that next level until you kill somebody, until you until you kill someone you love, right? And then he tells him all kinds of shit. And then to make it even worse, he looks at him. This is what happens when you go to the next level. He kills cops. He kills everybody. And he could have easily killed him, but he gives him the look. Like man, now you on to that. Now you've graduated, but you have to deal with the consequences. Of what you've done. And I, I think that this dude was so like bulletproof that he felt like, yo, I killed all the you know when you're adrenaline is pushing? I think his adrenaline was so big that he was just like, yo, I'm gonna just drive out of here because I'm not gonna be he took a cop I'm car. I'm not going to jail. Yeah. I, he took a I'm cop car. I like the way he died. It was cool the way he died, but I I think I would have enjoyed it more if Tariq would have killed him. On some fuck you nigga, yeah, I'm taking over. Well, you see, you can't do that because the problem is it's not between Tariq and Kanan. Tariq, could Tariq and Kanan, right? But he could have took in his father because his father's giving him advice, and he's starting to like fall into his father. Like, damn, pops is trying to tell me some shit here. Nah, I, I doubt so. it. I think so. I think. I, I think. think so. I, I think, think that that shit's starting to work, and it started to work for him when his father said, "Yo." Y'all niggas don't got to worry about taking no raps. I'm taking the rap. When he said that to him, the look in his eyes was like, oh, shit, maybe my pops is as real as motherfuckers really be saying that he is. I see That's that. That's a real shit. I see that, but at the same time, I think what it is, he's, he's still, at the back of his head, he still wants to step to his pops. Of course. But when your father says something like that to you, like, yo, nigga, you ain't going to jail? Yeah. I'm taking the breath yeah, for you no he, matter what? He nigga, didn't. that shit stops working psychologically in your head. Like, oh, shit, wait a minute. Mom being a dickhead to my father and telling him, go fuck yourself. But the nigga still t- taking the rap and he can't fuck with mom. He don't love moms. He don't love moms. He could just be like, yeah, mom did it. Kanan, but he's he, like, nah, I'm taking this rap for my family. Kanan messed it up when he told him, like, he said, I don't even know if that nigga's my son. <laughs> That's what he, he said, fucked up. He should have took a DNA. He should have took a DNA. He should have took a DNA test. But it, Kanan also showed him at the same time, I love you more than I ever loved that nigga. And, he, and then he was sense, like, he, he was like, yo, I can't believe that because your blood you killed, but you're telling me I'm more than your blood? It was a life lesson for his ass. Yeah. That your blood ain't always the one that fucking loves you all the time. Yeah. So. In real life, it be like that too. It does be like that. 
So you think, what do you think that does for him with his relationship with his with his dad? He's caught in the middle right now. He don't know if his father. He already know that his father's a scumbag, right? But now he's starting to see another side of his father. Like damn, this nigga take a rap like I've been saying. Now he's trying to show me some love on some ghetto shit. Like fuck, which way am I going, dude? I'm, but but at the end of the day, he wants to be his dad. Well, he's already becoming his dad because he just did what exactly what his yeah, dad did. Exactly. He put one of his friends, one of the people he trusted, he loved, and he chose himself first. Oh, don't think he's not gonna let his father know that. Oh yeah, nigga, me and moms did that. Yeah. So in reality, we took the rap for your ass. Well, his father already knows that he did it, right? So yeah, of course. Yeah. But you know, he's gonna throw it in his face. You think he's gonna throw it in his face? Every time his father try to correct him or be like, "Yo, Tariq, don't do this shit." Like, nigga, don't forget, nigga, you was going to go to jail for us. I saved you from that. So, based based on all of that, I still stand with my opinion that Tariq is going to kill Dre. I don't think no one else will kill Dre but Tariq. Because all of gonna, death, all of death. I think it's going to be Tariq. I think it's going to be his croony. I don't think it's going to be his croony either. The one that every time he try to do something... And Dre be like, I'm the fucking boss. The one that looked like Neo to me. Oh, okay, I got you. Yeah, I think not, it's going to be him. Not Cockroach? Yeah, I think it's going to be him. I would like to see Cockroach body somebody because he's just a comic relief. I you know think who, he's going to who, who, who who body Dre? Yeah. Y'all want me to tell y'all who's going to body Dre? The Spanish dude. Spanish dude is dead. The no, 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 no. Oh, you're talking, about, you're talking about the... I don't even see it coming, son. It's going to be a female. Who? Freaking a Valdez? <laughs> It's gonna be Angie. That's what you think it's gonna so, be. So Angie Valdez gonna take that nigga out. Let's so let's let's talk about this. So you think Angie's gonna? Who's gonna be? You think Dre's gonna be Angie's first body? Yeah. Do you think Angie's gonna murk anybody? Nah. Not this season, but do you think she's she she gonna, she gonna, she gonna do it? She gonna send her crew to do it. She'll. T- I think she'll talk to to Tommy to handle her business. I don't think she'll do it on her own. I see them becoming partners too. By the way. Who? Tommy and Angela. Well, it's going to be a problem because Tommy don't trust Ghost no more. Nope. Nope. And he don't believe that Tasha was the one that set all of that up. Yeah. And it's going to take to the next episode for him to realize, like, oh, shit, this nigga was a lion. I don't think he's still going to believe him. Yeah. I still think, I still think he's just going... In the back of his mind, he's starting to realize that Ghost is on a, on a different level. Because Ghost is always trying to finagle something. You know, I don't think it's nothing personal. It's not, but Ghost has always been yeah. smarter than him. So, yeah. so he he's feels... He's too irrational. That's yeah. the problem, you know? He, he's too emotional. He's too irrational. And when shit hits the fan, you, you got to have all your shit together. Because one false move, you fuck everything up. You talking about Ghost or you talking about Tommy? I'm talking about Tommy. Oh, okay. I think Tommy's is shaping up and the shoulders start... He's going to start getting smarter, I think. Yes, I hope he starts getting smart about his father. I think that's gonna come to light too. Yeah, I think he's gonna work his father. I've been saying that. I'm waiting. I don't know. Well, if he finds out that his father, is, because don't forget, Proctor found out now that somebody saw is witnessing to what Ghost did in jail, right? Which is the reason why he went to the bar and he was talking to him, but he really wasn't talking to him because they, you know, they don't know if they get recorded or not. But they was talking like, yo, is there something that I need to know? Did you kill somebody? Oh, why are you asking? Oh, yeah, there but... somebody might know. When they was having that conversation, you think Ghost not going to tell Tommy, like, yo, the only other motherfucker that I know I killed that nigga is your father. And guess what this nigga Proctor told me? At the same time, I think Proctor is scared. And I think Proctor... Oh, yeah. His I, back think, is I, 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 I think Proctor right now, the only person he adores Ghost fearful of Tommy and he's trying to make a choice of who does he align his loyalties to and he's gonna have, I think he's gonna he's gonna try to like put the blame on somebody he gonna get murdered he gonna get he murdered he knows too much he, he gonna get murdered not because he knows too much because he's trying to fucking tell Ghost fuck Angela you gotta pick yourself and he basically gonna tell this nigga to no go. I don't think that I think he's fucking himself over because he exposed himself as possibly talking to the other niggas on the other side. Yeah. He went from, I don't want to know. I prefer not to know. To, you know you 
could talk to me, Ghost, right? Yeah. Yeah, he said yeah. he had that slip. Yeah. 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 He was a little too thirsty. And yeah, fucking Ghost, and Ghost was like, you know what? I'm okay. But that's Ghost being smart. You see what I'm saying? That's that was that was that was a cool scene because it, was. it, it showed was. Ghost clicking on the Ghost level. Yeah. Because he was yeah. like, Tommy would have been like. Okay, let me tell you something. Yeah, he would have caught on to that. Yeah. Tommy's just Tommy, so you know? So, Ghost was like, man, you ain't never want to know nothing. Yeah, now all of a sudden you want everything. You want all the info? They can't, nah. kill, they can't kill him right away. No, he's, 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 he's too much of a big character. He got, but, that, he got that computer he got to worry about. I don't know what the hell he going to do with that. I almost thought he was going to throw it in the water. Because I don't know if they were at the dock. I don't know where they were parked at. But I felt like he was about to toss I, that he, shit. He will, he will always hold on to that. I because know, because that's like the piece. That's the piece that will save his life. Yeah, no, yeah. just like Tasha keeping on, keeping on. Unless he give it to the to Knox and Knox give it to Valdez. No, the problem is the problem is he can't use it because if he use it, he going down too. He already knows that they can touch somebody in jail. They can touch somebody in witness protection. You ain't safe, bro. Nope. Nobody's safe. Like look how they killed that the first Mexican drug lord like on his way to like freaking you know what I'm saying like you're not safe. He know, he know too much. He's not safe, and he has a little daughter that he has to worry about. Do you think Tasha made the wrong, the wrong choice to make all of that happen at the end? No, she, she made the right choice. This is the first she time. This she is the made, first time she didn't think all of that was gonna pop off, and clearly shit went left. As a parent, she made the wrong choice. Yeah. As a yeah, because she put her son in jeopardy. She, yeah. Yeah. But as a as a gangster person, she made the right choice. Why Kanan didn't shoot to read? Because that's his son, man. I keep telling y'all. He popped that. Yo, he popped her cherry, man. He was the one that popped her cherry, yo. Tasha got her. Did you not see the post on IG this (laughs) week? (laughs) That's, yo. That's when, that's when, that's when them hoes be lying, son. You saw Silver on the train? (laughs) Girl. No, no. No, Silver was looking too sweet on the train. That's when them hoes be lying, son. He popped that cherry, yo. He popped that cherry. And it kind of makes sense that Tariq be his son and not the other dude because the other two was too old. He was too old to be his son unless he had him like like Lil Wayne at the age of 11. Yeah, well, that's what happened, I think. He nah, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not buying it. I think the baby mother was older. Nah, I'm not buying it. The baby it. mother was older. Go back. Go back and, and, and revisit that, that I episode. I still think Tariq is his son. You know what I'll tell you? I think Tariq is his son. When, you, when he says... I still don't think that nigga is my, my son. We should check the DNA. And he said, everything he came and said, little, always, yeah, he, the, the little, little sister, jazz. he was, you more of a son to me than that nigga ever was. And he's not really saying that because he's growing, a grooming the nigga. Yeah. It's a little in, indirect. In, in his mind, he really thinks there's something there that ties him to that little nigga. And then that's why when he looks at him, He's like, yo, he sees himself. Yeah, he relaxed. <laughs> he's, like, he's, like, he's like, yo. That's my nigga right there. That's my nigga, son. Wow. I done, he done surpassed me in like a couple of months. Yeah. So was, what would happen if Ghost find out that that's not his son? Because that's when the problem happens. Oh my. But that, Maybe that'll be the episode 10. That would be the end of the season when father and son meet, but they ain't really relatives and they got to... Go head to head. I'm I'm hitting my hands together. That's when they gotta go head to head. And Tariq dies. Maybe Tariq don't die. Maybe Ghost dies. Cause the show ain't called I Ghost. The die, show is Marty. called Power. I don't want you to die. And it's the person that <laughs> the person that's eager for the most power should be the one that left standing. And ain't nobody eager for power like Tariq is right now. Tariq and is great. Yeah. What Dre, he, Dre's already what like soft. What he's gonna do all the drugs? What he's gonna do with all of that? Bro, Ooh. he got a lot of shit. Tariq got Tariq mad got, weight. He got weight. Oh, I forgot about that. Yeah, what he gonna do? He gonna I life. guess you know what? He gonna set up his own shop. Yep. He ain't gonna have to pay nobody. Nope. But now he needs to connect. I want you. Th- who's think? gonna be the connect? Yo, you because think? Uncle Tommy's not gonna be the connect. You know who's gonna be? Dre. Nope. The Italians. He's going to be the connect for the Italians. Oh, for the movie. Oh, he, yes. Yeah. Oh. Wow. That's a, that's a good. That's good. Right? Because he can talk. Yeah. Word. Yeah. 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 I see why you brought him with you today. That was a, let me tell you something. That was amazing. That was a great scene. It, it was. was. I was like, that little bit of Italian, son? That's 
crazy. That yeah. was funny too when he asked him what classes you taking, and he just kept saying classes. He was like, "You still don't know shit." Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like all these classes, they ain't teaching. At the end of the day, he is learning shit because he's learning about metrics, home ec. Yeah. Home ec is how to cook, nigga. Oh, you learn God. how to cook that way, you are right. Yeah, he, Not that I'm saying I know, but a friend of mine does. He knows a lot of connects because he knows that guy that, that came and smacked up when he went to the, the rich white dude's house. Yep. Mm-hmm. He knows the, the Italians. He knows where to move a lot of weight. All from Canaan. Yep. Oh man, he's gonna set up his own shop. If he don't, if he learns how to cook it, because he gotta buy a couple cut of it. bricks. Cut it. He don't have cut to it. learn how to cook it because that white dude that they beat up. They already give it to him. He's the one that cooks it. He's already cooking. He's already the, prepared. Yeah, he's he just the gotta one. cut it up and bag it up. Nah, not the bricks that he got. Remember, he told him that shit was straight raw. Yeah, that one was yeah. straight raw. Yeah. But I think if he goes to the 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 other dude. The dude that was in jail with Canaan, and he was like, "Yo, Look, we gotta nigga, get yourself some big." Never mind. Okay. <laughs> Listen, man. Shout out to Honey Nut Cheerios for not yapping to the captain. Yeah, I guess that was a <laughs> that was a first um, screen screen time that she actually did a good job, and not just because she didn't snitch, just the way her character Yo, played it off. Wait, on. wait. Let's let's go back a little bit. How about the part where the parents walk in was like, "Oh, you gotta cook." Yeah. Oh, that racist yeah. shit. Yeah. Woo. Now, that was yeah. good that they played it off though. That was good because he didn't like that shit. By the way, nah, he didn't like it, but she didn't go all full racist. She kept trying, she kept trying, and then when she realized that Tommy backed her, and yeah. that's that's usually yeah. the situation, right? Yeah. If the significant other backs that person, then the family got the it. family got to respect it. Or they just got to drop all of y'all all together. And shout out to Honey Nut Cheerio for, you know, playing her position. Yeah, she didn't, she didn't and, flip out. Yeah. you know, she didn't act like the, I think the that's angry what, black woman. I think that's what they were waiting for. Yeah. yeah, they were waiting for the ratchet. The angry Puerto Rican black woman. You know, and then they didn't want to really talk. And Tommy was like, nah, this is my woman. And whatever you have to say, you, you can say it in front of my woman. Is. Was so funny. shout out to Honey Nut Cheerios for having, you know, Tasha's back and Tommy's back and... Well, she's only seen Tommy at a... She hasn't seen coked up Tommy yet, so I want to see how she's going to handle that. Yeah. I haven't seen him use drugs this whole season. Yeah, but you know, once a... I'm once sure a, he's once, doing something, but I haven't a, seen once him. A, once a crackhead, always a crackhead. I guess. I guess. Yeah, no, I guess. Once a, Whitney Houston says hello. Oh man! I'm just, you know, she's dead already, man. Come on, people! Yeah, it's not too late to man. say it. she was a crackhead. Everybody knows she was a crackhead. By the way, damn it! Crack is cheap. Wait. <laughs> there you go. Don't act like she wasn't a crackhead. Come on, crack y'all. is cheap, baby. The Bobby Brown story coming up soon. I will be reviewing that. Yes, yes. Did you ever get to see the new edition story? Yes. It was amazing. Bobby Brown story coming up. Yeah, yeah. I can't You're the wait. The same guy that played him in, in New Edition. My brother. BX Lou always trying to relive his memories when he was young and he was You know what's funny when my daughter dancing. when my daughter listens to um Bobby Brown, she's like all she thinks about is, is, is you. Oh hell no. <laughs> no, no, don't be listen, prima, don't be putting no batteries in his back. <laughs> That's what I did too in my own mom. Oh my we not have listen, listen, all we're right. not talking about your, so your golden years, all right? What do you think about the the whole concocting of the, 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 the FBI, whatever these these dudes are to try to get Angela? The, the funny part is Knox <sighs> right now. He's playing both sides. Not, but he gonna fall into that trap with Angela because he wants to go to DC, and at the end of the day, she gonna end up knowing everything. And guess what? They gonna always be one step ahead of them. She is a smart cookie. The, they are coming for her though. Yeah, that, they coming for a hard body. That Spanish cop is just all over everything. Yeah, she knows you like a motherfucker, just like a no. But she's on it though. She she know, she knows what she's doing. She's gonna. I think she's gonna get Angela's spot. I think the reason well, why. Yeah, I think yeah. the reason why. They transit they they transitioning Angela out of there, and I think even because Knox and all of them want the spot so bad, so bad, yeah. they're gonna be pissed because it's just gonna be another Spanish woman yeah. going right. Because they don't want to deal the, with them. The, 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 the black uh, just attorney guy, the ballhead guy. What do you think about him? He's just not in the five. He just yeah, want to come not, in. Listen, he, yeah. he not with the drama. Yeah. He just want to come and do his job. He's Give not, him a fucking check. Yeah, yeah. He, yeah. He, he, he's and not, you know what? I'm okay with that because when you have two motherfuckers, too many people in the fucking pot, 
is retarded. Yeah, he noticing that these too much. He's too not much. trying to be in competition. Listen, I'm just here to do what I gotta do and keep it moving. I'm gonna hit you with this little gem and don't ask me for no more shit. I think at the end of the day he gonna help out too. He already did. Yeah, I think Angela he must. Did. Angela yeah. must have helped him out some way, some in the in the past or something. So he owes, she owes him, or he owes her, whatever that shit is. So I was sad that Kanan died. I it, don't know if I teared it, up. It, it, I was sad. It was do, it was sad. done right because they built that relationship with Tariq so good that it felt better than when he when Kanan killed. We can't kill up Sean. The problem is that who's gonna instigate Tyreek? Who's gonna be? His oh, who's gonna put the battery well, in his back? Who's gonna the battery? I don't, I don't think he needs that anymore. I think. I, I think it's already. Set. I think by him killing Kanan, his his power level. That's that. Oh, that battery is charged, son. That's solar power. Yeah, like that shit is like. I agree. He he's walking now. He has, he has weight. Yeah, unlimited love. Yeah, yeah, yep. yeah. He is weight. He's about Mario Brothers. He's about like doom, doom, doom. Yep. You know when you hit that brick. He's just getting Yo, them coins, son. You guys son. gotta see. Can't do with this fucking. He's just hit, he's just hitting them coins, son. Yeah, he yeah. just he's just he's just hitting them coins. So right now he don't need nobody. He's gonna set up his own shop. He can save his money, re up. He don't gotta pay nobody. He may even start getting some of his little coonies at school to start pushing that and shit. And the crazy thing is, I think I still think um, Ghost is gonna have to go to jail for him. Eventually. Oh, because of all that other shit. All right. No, I think like later on when they get to the end of the season, I think Ghost is gonna feel regret because Ghost lost a daughter. Yeah. To the game, he ain't gonna lose his son. He ain't gonna lose his son. He gonna pay the ultimate price. Yeah. And just, just do life, do a life bid for Tariq. It was such a great episode. It was good. It was so good. Who's on the school bus this week, Kendo? Oh, man. Oh, I'm going to say Proctor. Proctor was on the school bus? Proctor was yeah, on the, because he, he put himself out. He was so thirsty, yeah, he thirsty to find out information for the other side that, nigga that he some, exposed himself. He needed some Gatorade, Tom. So to me, he needs to be the one on the bus. Yeah, he been in the game too long. He part of the mafia. That family. was a rookie even, move. Even his cousin told him, like, yo. The fuck? <laughs> like, he's like, I don't feel comfortable with this snitching shit. He was like, yo, what are, what are you doing? You, yeah. I know you're going to do the right thing. And in a way, he's trying to do the right thing. But he said it himself. Like, he gave himself the answer. Ghost ain't never going to choose anybody over Angela. Nobody. Like, that's just point blank. I don't think his kids... He gonna choose over Angela. That's his love, son. That's his first love. That's his cherry popper. Yes, yes, Omari. What if he knows that fucking Tariq and his son? That's not gonna happen long from now. That's like that's seasons and seasons away. If that even comes out, even if it even comes true. So Ooh, I think Tasha's gonna be looking like a thot. Already a thot. Why? Why she's a thot? I, I, I got it. I got it. I got it. Oh. I got this oh, one. Oh, I got this shit. one. I got this one. Wait, let me perk myself up for this one. <laughs> so, she's a thought. Why? Because every freaking person she gets that gives her just a small amount of attention. What did, what did, all right, let's just go. What did Sean have to do to get her attention? All he had to do was look in the rear view mirror. Yeah, that's how it started. What did the the lawyer have to do to get a little bit she of love? She choked her. You see that what I'm saying? That's because her husband wasn't handed. You see, lesson one oh one, guys. He was still giving the ghost D. Nah. Yes, he was. Wasn't he still giving the ghost D? Yes, he was. Whoa. Yes, he was. When Sean was stroking, he was stroking. It was stroking. It was, what? It was double D. When he was stroking, when he was stroking Angela, he was still stroking too. No, no, no. What we were saying was, oh. she, was still, the the she was still getting fulfilled. Listen, I, well, the on. more the merrier, how? <laughs> <laughs> Listen, it ain't no fun if my homies can't get that. At the end of the day, if it comes out that Tarika is 50, son, she, gonna, she did that. Because she cheated first. And if you think about it, she was with Cannon. And she you, left Cannon for this nigga, for Ghost, because Ghost gave her a little muscle attention. A, I would have left Cannon for you too. The fuck out. I, I'm going to tell you why I, she's a cop. <laughs> if it comes out that Tariq is his son, is Cannon's son, it means the bitch planned the whole oh, shit. shit. And imagine that. He's a grimy thought. And then 
and at the end of it, try to be like, I want a legal man. I want legal money. You, you see what the legal man did, right? He, he got on the fucking D train and bounced. But yeah. she had the opportunity yeah. for legal money. Yeah. She's stupid, too. Let me tell you something. Her, her little move to Silva to try to get him, that was a stupid move, son. She exposed herself. She was, a, she was oh, desperate, bro. She, she, was she, she, she basically told this nigga everything by, by doing that. Like, yeah, we fucking. And legal you don't think that they're going to look for him now? Because oh, yeah. um, he, he left. They gotta look for I'm him. still the niggas on the D train. Yo, on the forty second street. Yeah, he's on the D train. So I'm still confused. To I want to ask you guys a question. What do you? All right, go with BX Lou first. What is your theory for why this dude? Because th- he just disappeared. He packed his bag like someone was kind of come kill him. You know why? Because he he love he love he loves Tasha. He really does. Love is a strong word, bro. He he he, he fell for her. I'm, I'm gonna listen to you. I'm gonna listen to you. Go ahead. He fell for her hard, right? But he knew that he was not going... He didn't love her enough to go to jail for her or to lose his career. And since he wasn't going... He knew he was going to die. He know Nick Ghost been killing niggas since 12th grade, nigga. He knew he was going to die. So he's like, you know what? I can't lose my job, go to jail, and get murked all at the same time. I'm out. You might be right. Because that's exactly what was going to happen. He was going to be like, I ain't helping. I'm going to go over there. I'm going to tell him what's going on. He going to go to jail for fucking lying to them. He going to lose his career. And then while he in jail, Ghost going to get him murdered. Come on. He not going over So, but then why, why step up to Ghost so many times? Because he felt like he had that power. That he could. That protection. Because Tasha made him feel that he had that yeah, power. But, but then when he him. realized... When, Ghosts pop up on you like that? I don't know. Like, oh, shit. You, know, you gone, say whatever Tasha told you to say? Nah, nigga. It's a wrap. I'm out. So he got scared ghostless. Yeah, he got ghostless, nigga. <laughs> you agree with that? I can agree to that to some extent. I don't think he loved her, though. I agree that he, I, he I was think- not going to put everything on the line for her. I think he saw He didn't love her. He saw her he did, he would have... When you a sucker for love... That's the problem. He yeah. was a sucker for love. He could be in love and not be a sucker, though. Nah. When you a sucker for love is a sucker for love. That's a different. That, it's in different. love or a sucker for love is two different yeah. things. Yeah, so he was probably in love, but not sucker for love. That's what I'm saying. Like, you know, nah, that's, that's probably, you know, that's as far two, as that. That's two different stages. He wasn't, though. yeah, he wasn't sucker for love. In love is when you walking around the flowers. Sucker for love like, is, you know, is when you walking like, in your hands in like the pocket. Like Amari and Angela, they, they sucker for love. Yeah, ghost is a sucker for love. They, yeah, they yeah, sucker yeah. for loves for each that's other. It's for each other. They put everything on the line already. They've already proven What do you that. think? I'm confused because I'm thinking that there's something bigger at play. Because bringing those... Um, what's that other group? The other dude that's in a non-name government agency? Oh, the Spanish dude. Morales or whatever. The, guy, the guy that smashed Angie? Yeah. Uh-huh. Santiago. Yeah, Santiago, whatever, whatever was his name. Mr. Enrique. Re- Enrique Suave, <laughs> whatever that dude's name is. Suavemente. Suave. <laughs> like, I think that dude. Suena <laughs> bien. I think that dude has a lot more info oh, and play yeah. on what's going on. Oh, he and, just came out of nowhere. Yeah. All of a sudden. There's a lot of pieces to this puzzle that's fucking yeah. in the air. and it's not gonna wrap up in two fucking episodes no, it's no, not no, no. well the two episodes I think is gonna give us stuff for next season oh, that's, yeah, for that's sure. usually what they do right oh. and it's all it's gonna all be about Angela be so it's about Angela and Tariq the two people that got the most growth right now is Angela and Tariq Angela turning into a freaking warlord or whatever gangster boo whatever she gonna be to ghost <sighs> and Tasha done play this stuff cause she ain't never getting ghost back she done she better go find her. Uh, he loved me more than you ever did. That was a rap right there. But yeah. Like, that, like, that, that? That, that comment was worse than, her, than him finding out. That Tariq ain't his. Tariq ain't his, and then she was stroking. That was that crazy comment. Oh, my God. He, yeah, that, that, was, that, was, that, was like, that was like a bullet, son. He loved me more than you ever did. Damn. Como duele, kid. That's a that, sucker shit. That shit hurts. But then, you know what's crazy, though? I think what hurt her the most is to know that her cooch wasn't that good, so. Nah. Your box was mad. It was fucking wax, sis. Shit, it wasn't real macaroni and cheese, no. son. That shit, that <laughs> that shit <laughs> was craft macaroni and cheese. That shit was craft. That shit was instant craft. <laughs> oh, 
<laughs> Just add a little water. Oh, three and a half minutes. <laughs> <laughs> and then you add the, the powdered cheese. <laughs> oh, that shit ain't real. You know when you go to a barbecue or something, you be like, yo, who's on the grill? And you be like, nah, son. <laughs> <laughs> That's what she got, son. She got that. She was like, yo, I want that chicken. She still wasn't the grill. She was like, nah, son. She, oh, got the, she got that lunchable box. <laughs> <laughs> Pack up and go. Ew. Oh, it man. wasn't good enough, Tasha. No. Fuck him. He wasn't on your team. It's simple. You got that Walmart pizza. That's fucked up. Ew. Damn. What you think is going to happen? All right. Who you all? Oh, who's going to die? Top three. Who you want to die? My, my obvious number one at this point is Proctor. Okay. Number two is Tommy's dad. Okay. And number three is always that scumbag DA nigga. Ooh. The nigga we can't remember his fucking name. The other dude. <laughs> <laughs> the one that be with Knox. Yeah. yeah so the one I, that's just eating the donuts. The comic relief ass nigga. Okay. I agree that Proctor has to go because there could only be one lawyer that's within the crew. And that's gonna be who? And that's gonna be Angie. Yep. I think Angie. Angie. Now that she's working. For Tasha, she's working. That was goals. the best move ever. <laughs> yeah. Because not only is she gonna know the streets, she knows the other side. She knows the other too. side. So she, she knows, knows how to manipulate the, every the angle. And I think she's gonna take the job to go. She gonna manipulate the dude she hit off, and she gonna take the job with him, so she don't have to work with them cocksuckers. And then she gonna be over them. So then they gonna definitely she she gonna put. Goes in the ultimate power. She's gonna protect that nigga from a higher, from a higher yeah. power. Yeah. I'll be protecting you too on my Oh, oh my. <laughs> <laughs> a, The next person I think is gonna die is gonna be. Um, Where the fuck is Coco Puff? She needs to come back. Who's Coco Puff? Who's Coco Puff? Right. Oh, you're talking about Fanny, Fanny Pack. Oh, Fanny. Fancy. Yeah. yeah. I don't know. She was a. I think that was a hit and run. That was a hit and run, yeah. 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 That was yeah. a squirrel. Uh, <laughs> it wasn't all that anyway. I need another scene this season. Y'all better get to it. I think Teresa's Teresa's boy, um, his his main squeeze, the one, whatever his man is, the one with the stash, right here, man. Yeah, yeah, Mr. Stash, Mr. Porno. Oh, that's that's back. Ron Jeremy. Yeah, Ron Jeremy, Ew. back in the day, seventy style. All right, so you got Proctor. I'm a Proctor. I got Mr. Porno. Need one more, <sighs> and then I think one more is gonna be probably. Um, I don't know if he's gonna die yet, but I'm gonna just throw him in there. It's gonna be the the, the Spanish dude, Mister Mister Number Two, Juan Carlos, Juan Carlos, whatever his name is, Number Two, Christy Ball, Christy Ball, Christy Ball, Christy Ball. He gonna get the Christy Ball. Christy Ball look like somebody I know. Son. You Listen. know why? Cause he he has no like charisma. He has no screen presence. He really he's just, just he's just there. He's just there. He just, I like cockroaches better saying, than him. For him saying that he ran the clubs in Miami and this nigga had him, whoa, that was a good laugh for you to say that. How the fuck you know how they really do that shit, nigga? That nigga was like, oh. Him and Dre are really dry together. Oh. I like when Dre is with his boys and they going at each other, giving each other looks and talking shit to each other because you ain't tell us why to you, do it. Why you kill that nigga? Because you ain't tell us to do it. Your <laughs> cousin is going to kill Dre. I'm telling y'all right now because he's... He about tired and had it with Dre already. Because he's out there trying to prove himself. And Dre is fucking downplaying him every single time. I think he's going to kill Crystal Ball. Because the last look he gave Crystal Ball, he was like... <sighs> he had that. <laughs> he had that, yo. Oh, that, true, yeah, I'm done, son. All I done right, right. murk, murked somebody already. I'm feeling it. So, where you yeah. go? Dre got to die. Soresti gotta die. They even won't kill the whole show's gonna be done. Listen, Dre gotta die. Soresti gotta die. And the third person that gotta die. Damn, here she goes. Who's gonna be? Tasha. Damn, you think this show could do without Tasha? I don't know. Probably not. <laughs> but she is on another show, so I'm gonna say Tasha. Oh, she is. I just saw that. Yep. So she might be gone. What show was that? Remember you, the show that you watch. Oh, she was only there for one episode. They marked that bitch. Oh, well, well, hey, you got to get that check, mama. <laughs> that was Chop Chop. They marked the boy. <laughs> well, those she are trying to be grimy in the fucking show, too. So what do you think is going to happen next season? The, I mean, the next episode. <laughs> what? The next episode. What do you think is going to happen? Fix out of uh, yeah, for sure. <laughs> Another fatality? Yes. 
Yeah, because they say about to be some smoke. I don't know. Uh, I hate to say this because they'd be giving it away. But I think Sylvester going down, son. Well, episode nine, right? Yeah. He's going down before before the season is over. Sylvester's gone. Um, all right. That's your prediction? That's, that's the only thing you have for the... That's for the next episode or just the rest of the season? My next episode. All right. The rest is gone. I'll let you go first. There, there, there's so much going the fuck on. I don't know what's going to happen. All I know is that I need another scene before this fucking Ain't nobody getting stroked in the rest Listen, of the I, need, I need to see it. Yo, you know what somebody, you know, Dre, somebody. Wait, you know what I want? I want to see somebody get murked while they're stroking. How about that? Oh. All right, so I'm going to tell you, you what I think. You want somebody to die by the pussy? Not by the pussy, but <laughs> one pussy. I'm going to tell you what's going to happen. So, this is my prediction. Oh, shit. And it's for the last two episodes. I don't know if it's if it's gonna be one or nine or ten. But I think that the was it the chick, the drug lord chick, whatever her name is, the the sister, the yeah, sister. Well, she's the gonna find, Yeah, she's gonna find out about her brother dying, the head. Because remember, they they use the head. Some niggas still got the head. Yeah, the head is still chilling. The well, the, gonna chill. the cops are gonna find it. Yep. And then because they showed that in the preview, right? Yep. And then I think that Dre is gonna say that number two did. It. His, ball. Yeah, he's gonna say number two did it. His boys is gonna go on step up for him and say yeah because they want number two to die anyway, and that's how that's gonna happen. I think number two is gonna be gone. Damn son, I think Crystal Ball is gonna get it. I think yeah. Crystal Ball is gonna get it because all of all Dre's people oh. is gonna come together and say that nah, this is what happened. I think they gonna find the fucking head at, at the fucking place where uh, yeah. Dre's working. Yeah. yeah, that's what I'm saying. I'm saying they're going to find it. They already found it, man. But Dre's going to... Dre's going to... He's going to we- weasel his way out of that shit. He ain't weasel. taking that heat. He ain't taking that heat. He ain't going to But do it. when it comes to the girl, he might have to give her a little stroke. So she might be right. He might have to stroke that yeah, a little bit. Kill him. And then, no, but then he's going to say that, yo, the, that happened because number two did it. He and got... Because he's stroking, she's going to believe him. She's gonna. She wants to have something against him because she really didn't care about her brother too much, but she wants to have something on Dre really, really bad. And by having that on Dre, that's good enough for her, because he can't fuck up at all now. And now I think that's how Crystal Bar is gonna die. Oh my God. I think Crystal Bar is done because this, this, this season he was a non. He was he was just a non-product. He didn't he was do a anything. Motherfucking factor. Yeah, he was a non-factor. He didn't do anything. There was nothing about him going on. Shit. So I think that's what's gonna happen. Oh. You so don't want to give your... No, that's, I don't have nothing, man. It's just so much going on. I don't know what to expect. And I like that I don't know what to expect. I like it. So that's it. This is a third life. <laughs> you know how it is. It's power. Yeah. Someone's going to die. It's like West Side up in this. I got a message. <laughs> What's the message? We don't gang bang. <laughs> this Ain't no gang gang. Oh, my God. But you fuck with home, and we gonna bang bang. Oh, Calm man. down. Okay. You, you we we taking over this podcast shit, son. Yes, we are. Fuck that. That's, I agree with that. We need to start fucking knocking niggas out. You need to calm down. Get the card built for business and adventure. That's what we're doing. <laughs> yeah, <don't> <laughs> so as always, <laughs> you know where to find us. But in case you don't know. Can dog gonna tell you? Oh my god! Oh uh, so man, we on everything. We on all social media. All Tumblr, platforms. Shit, we even on your notebook. Weapon. <laughs> <laughs> I'm talking about that paper. You flip the paper. You flip the pages. We on there. Yo, everybody, listen to this podcast. Submit it to your friends. Forward it to your friends. Let them listen to the, the funniest shit that they could ever listen to. Word. This podcast is freaking lit. You know about it. Just share it right now. Thank we, you. Right now, we're doing a, a promotion for our. For Bodega Sports, we're trying to have a, a, a little fantasy league. Fantasy league. We're giving out. Um, what we're we giving out? Well, sure. I don't know what I'm giving out, but I'm giving out something. Yeah. So we're looking for the first five. First nine. First nine. So if look- you if you think you know what you're doing and you could beat us, because I'm an expert at this, defending champion in my league. Oh my god! Don't you bring know, it. You always dropping stats. Or is that that's on Facebook? If you're not a if you're not a member on Facebook, the only way you could do it is request Hood News Media. Yep. And we'll see you, and then we'll accept you. Uh, if you want to be on there, you don't want to be part of the the, the fantasy um, NFL pick, whatever. That's fine. That's fine, but we ain't gonna put you in there. You know why? Because if you want to be in there, you have to be part of our Patreon. So if Word. you want to be a Patreon, then you could be on our exclusive Facebook page Word. and get promoted, Word. just like we do everybody else. And to all our fans out there. 
Peace. We love you. Yes, thank you. Peace.